Elon Musk wants to build a colony on Mars, but he's not the only one with ambitious space plans. His biggest competitor, Jeff Bezos, is catching up. He's just completed his new reusable rocket and his space plans are, if anything, even wilder than Elon's. Jeff Bezos is probably best known as the founder of Amazon, but in 2000 he also founded Blue Origin, a private spaceflight company. It so far made headlines primarily for offering brief space trips for rich people, but Bezos' vision is far grander. He wants to build cities in orbit around Earth. Blue Origin space trips are made with a suborbital vehicle. This means that it doesn't have enough thrust to fly off into outer space. It goes up, lingers at the edge of space and then falls back down. If you have a few hundred thousand dollars to spare, you can book a trip and enjoy a few minutes of weightlessness, views from space and the warm feeling that you just made the second richest man in the world a bit richer. But Bezos doesn't want to become the king of space tourism. He wants to become the king of space. To that end, his company has been working on a reusable rocket that can reach space proper and, like Elon's rockets, put things into orbit around Earth. Bezos' new rocket is called New Glenn, is 98 meters high and designed to carry up to 45 metric tons to low Earth orbit. In terms of payload, that puts it between SpaceX's smaller rocket, the Falcon 9, and the bigger one, the Falcon Heavy. At the moment, Elon Musk is well ahead of Bezos. While SpaceX has been launching rockets for more than a decade already, New Glenn has yet to fly. It was originally set to launch in 2020 but faced repeated delays. Bezos hired a new CEO last year and construction on the rocket seems finally completed. The company is now waiting for approval for its first test flight. One of the major differences between the new Glenn rocket and the Falcon rockets that probably contributed to the delay is that the new Glenn uses methane as fuel, whereas the Falcon rockets use kerosene. At least theoretically, methane is better at converting mass into thrust and it has a cleaner combustion. In practice, I guess we'll have to wait how well it blows up. But the new Glenn rocket is just a small first step of Jeff Bezos' larger plan. He wants humans to populate the orbits around Earth. In his plans, he draws inspiration from physicist Gerard O'Neill, who proposed rotating cylinders whose centripetal force would create some artificial gravity and that could host millions of people. What O'Neill and his students came up with was the idea of manufactured worlds rotated to create artificial gravity with centrifugal force. These are very large structures, miles on end, and they hold a million people or more each. Let's take a look at what they might look like inside. High-speed transport, agricultural areas, Bezos doesn't just want to do this for fun, his ultimate goal is to move all heavy industry into space. Resources would be mined from the moon or asteroids, and energy-intensive work would be performed in orbit, powered by huge solar arrays. That way, we would not need that much energy down on Earth, and we would also have less pollution. Who knows how many years it will take, but we can set up the preconditions where the next generation or the generation after that will be able to move polluting industry off Earth. And then this planet will be maintained as it should be, and, you know, can kind of be, it can sort of think of it as zoned residential and light industry. And if you want to use large amounts of energy and right. large amounts of pollutants and so on, you go do that off Earth. To get that done, the costs of space flight have to dramatically drop and the travel has to become more convenient. And that is, in my understanding, why Bezos is working on this space tourism vehicle and reusable rockets. To me, Bezos' vision makes considerably more sense than Musk's. Musk wants to build a colony of about a million people on Mars, a trip that takes seven to nine months one way. By his own admission, it makes no commercial sense. Bezos' plan, on the other hand, does make commercial sense. Not now, but one day it will. Indeed, I think he's right that this is going Going to happen one way or another. If humans survive for sufficiently long, we'll mine resources in space. And once we start doing that, it makes sense to also move manufacturing to space. 
Bezos and Musk are not the only ones in this business, of course. There are a couple of smaller companies which also work on reusable rockets and China has some too. In the past decade, we've also seen several asteroid mining startups pop up. They mostly died because at the moment the costs and difficulties of space travel are still way too high. If you need more evidence that the time hasn't yet come for this business, I talked about it previously and it was one of my worst performing videos ever. So why am I talking about this again? Well, you know, YouTube is kind of like space travel. It's hard to reach escape velocity. To me, science is more than a profession. It's a way to understand the world and to solve problems. This is why I'm happy to work together with Brilliant, whose mission is to help you learn science in the easiest and most engaging way possible. All courses on Brilliant have interactive visualizations and come with follow-up questions. I found it to be very effective to learn something new. It really gives you a feeling for what's going on and helps you build general problem-solving skills. They cover a large variety of topics in science, computer science and maths, from general scientific thinking to dedicated courses on differential equations or large language models. And they're adding new courses each month. It's a fast and easy way to learn and you can do it whenever and wherever you have the time. I even have my own course on Brilliant. That's an introduction to quantum mechanics. It'll help you understand what a wave function is and what the difference is between superpositions and entanglement. It also covers interference, the uncertainty principle and Bell's theorem. And after that, you can continue maybe with their course on quantum computing or differential equations. And of course, I have a special offer for users of this channel. If you use my link brilliant.org slash Sabina, you'll get to try out everything Brilliant has to offer for a full 30 days. And you'll get 20% off the annual premium subscription. So go and check this out. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.